This March, the Korean government issued fine dust warnings multiple times, and emergency measures were in place for five consecutive days, which was the longest ever. Fine dust was a serious issue during the past winter, too, but it has become more severe in the spring as the low pressure systems blanketed the area and air circulation becomes stagnant. It is well known that fine dust causes various health problems. It is especially harmful to children and the elderly. But the lengthy period of gray skies and stuffy polluted air is having a toll on the nation's economy too. People choose to stay indoors and limit their outdoor activity, which leads to dwindling sales in stores and restaurants. It is no exaggeration to say that the fine dust issue has been escalated to the level of a national disaster. Pollutants from China is pointed to be the main culprit, which makes the issue more complicated, as the majority of its causes are beyond our control. We don't have a quick solution for this health-threatening problem. Even so, people want the government to do something more proactive about it. First, many believe that we have to speak out against China. Also, as we can't just sit and wait for China to do something about it, we need to find our domestic factors and reduce them. Most Koreans don't want to settle for the government's current policies. According to a government survey, Koreans think of air pollution as the most serious risk factor of their life, worse than economic recessions and even North Korean nuclear issue. The survey result may be no different next year if we don't see any dramatic change anytime soon. There seems to be no end in sight to fix this problem, which is worrying Koreans. Um, so I said there, there needs to be, there is no end in sight. No end in sight means uh, we don't see an end to the problem. Uh, we, if there's no end in sight, the problem will keep going and there is no solution. There is no quick fix for this issue, which is causing distress. Uh, so I said there's no quick fix. A quick fix is exactly what it sounds like. For example, if something breaks in your home, in your car, you might use duct tape to fix it. Not the best thing, but it will be a quick fix. You can fix it temporarily. But in this case, there is no quick fix for the fine dust. And then I said it was causing distress. Uh, distress is kind of like a, a high level of pain or uncomfort that happens to a person or a group of people. It, it's not stress, but it's actually distress. It's more extreme than stress. Immediate symptoms of fine dust exposure are throat problems and respiratory issues. The long-term health effects are unknown for adults. We also don't know how damaging the dust is for young children. Uh, so I said the immediate symptoms of fine dust. That means the immediate symptoms means when you are about to get or, uh, an illness or a cold or something bad happens to you, those are the immediate symptoms. It, what, it's what happens first. So when the fine dust comes in, everyone gets a sore throat. Um, and I saw, also said they have respiratory issues. So uh, respiration means breathing. Your respiratory system is your throat and your lungs. So every time you take a breath, you're using your respiratory system. So people might have pneumonia or asthma or other problems related to breathing. Young children are more susceptible to the effects of the dust. We will not know the damage they have suffered until years later. So I said young children are more susceptible to the effects. If you're susceptible to something, something uh, usually bad uh, will happen to you a lot easier. For example, if you don't sleep for two days, you would be susceptible to getting a cold or getting sick, or certain cars are more susceptible uh, for their engines to catch fire than others. So susceptible means something easier will happen. It's usually used in a negative way. Expecting an economic downturn, the Chinese government will lift regulations on manufacturing. This, in turn, will dramatically increase China's carbon footprint. Uh, so I said expecting an economic downturn, that's when the economy goes down uh, or there is a recession. Um, and at the end, I said t it would increase China's carbon footprint. Uh, carbon footprint is an important word to know. Uh, I think it was invented or created about 12 years ago. So if you know what a footprint is, you know, you put your foot in the dirt and you leave a footprint. Your carbon footprint is the amount of power or pollution a person, a product, a city, a country uh, uses or puts out. So for example, um, if someone is driving an SUV 
and another person is driving a sedan, the person with the SUV has a bigger carbon footprint. Or if your company wants to do, reduce their carbon footprint, they would tell everyone to turn off their computers at night. Or Korea is trying to reduce its carbon footprint by adding more wind generators. However, in this case, if they reduce the uh, regulations on manufacturing, it will increase their carbon footprint, so increase their pollution. As the Chinese economy shrinks, the Chinese government will reduce its regulations for carbon emissions. This, in turn, will create more particulates in the atmosphere. Uh, so I said, as the uh, Chinese economy shrinks, it is the opposite of grows. Um, and it's regulations for carbon emissions. So carbon emissions is the emissions are the gas that is usually produced by burning something or coming out of something. So your car has emissions that come out of the exhaust. Factories have emissions that go into the air. If you are smoking a cigarette, that will emit burning particulates into the atmosphere. And then I said, uh, create more particulates. So uh, we sometimes say fine dust or uh, just dust in the air, but we also say that there's many particulates. Particulates are small pieces of matter that fly around in the atmosphere. So when we talk about the levels or the index of how bad the air pollution is, we say, what's the PM 2.5? So yesterday, the PM 2.5 in Seoul was like 233. Uh, I just checked it now. The current PM 2.5 or the particulate matter in the air is 195. Um, so that's how we measure it. And particulate matter is how we measure the size of the part of the particulates. So PM 2.5 are the smaller ones, the fine dust. And then we have PM 10. And that comes from tobacco, uh, burning coal, uh, burning or frying oil, vehicles, power generators, uh, truck emissions, heating, cooking, those things all emit the particulate matter. The government needs to be more assertive with China and demand they do something about their environmental impact on the region. It is everyone's responsibility to take action domestically as well. Uh, so I said the government needs to be more assertive. Uh, when you're as assertive, it means you are confident in what you say and what you do in your actions. So Korea needs to be more assertive with China and demand something from them. The government needs to denounce China and push them to improve the air quality. We as a nation also need to take steps to reduce our carbon footprint. So the government needs to denounce China. That means you've got to say something negative against China. You've got to say, hey, look, this is your fault. You've got to do something about it. Um, and then I said, uh, domestically, Koreans need to take steps to reduce their carbon footprint. So to take steps is to uh, have a proactive way of doing something to improve something. So for example, uh, if your child could walk to school, don't drive them to school. Uh, stop frying food in your house. Stop using coal to cook meat. Uh, don't use your car if you don't have to. These are kind of small things you can do to reduce the amount of emissions into the atmosphere. Thanks, guys. Thanks for downloading. Stay safe out there.